say YouTube Navy 98. So I finally got around to cleaning up the last of the four Hanyan rifles that I bought from Century Arms last year. Uh, this is the last and is actually the oldest of the bunch uh, based on the serial numbers. If anyone's interested, uh, I'm going to post a video here in a week or two um, talking about how you can purchase this particular Hanyang as well as one of the other ones I have. And I may, I may have one or two of those Gewehr um, 88 receivers, uh, barrel receivers for sale. Um, I'll post information in the video on how you can um, get information from me on that. So be looking out for that. Uh, I also wanted to put a plug in on that same video. I'm just going to be going over some of the other uh, militaria and milserp items I'm trying to get rid of, some bayonets um, and some other odd and assorted ends. I have, also have an eBay store. Uh, obviously these rifles will not be on the eBay store, but the other pieces that I'll show you will be on the eBay store. And I just wanted to give you guys first crack at them uh, when I post them. So again, be looking for another video in a couple weeks on that. But to go ahead and get into the last Hanyang here, like I said, this was the last of the four that I purchased from Century Arms when they were selling these uh, last year after they bought out uh, Springfield Sporters. So this was probably in, in the roughest condition as far as the stock is concerned. You noticed here there's um, a little bit of, of wood uh, here on the forestock that's missing. Um, these bits of metal were quite rusty. Um, so when you end up doing a lot of rust removal, um, you get some loose components, obviously, uh, since that metal is no longer there to be tied around the wood. But for the most part, it cleaned up pretty well, especially considering uh, what it looked like beforehand. Uh, going down to the stock here, there are some stock markings um, that are visible, but unfortunately, most of them have kind of worn away. So it's really hard to decipher what those say. Um, and what this uh, painted rack marking or whatever said as well. So if anybody can tell just by looking at that, and I'll put, put a picture up here later, um, just let me know in the comments. Uh, and then in the butt stock here, you'll notice that, um, you know, this was pretty worn out here. I did use the original screws that were with this, but uh, the butt plate was pretty worn out. Uh, otherwise, uh, it functions just fine. Uh, and inter interestingly enough, and I'll talk about this in a minute. Sorry, I'm having to do this with one hand, I'm trying to get this to work. Hold on one second. All right, let's try this again. So interestingly enough, this is actually what appears to be an original uh, Imperial German bolt assembly. Um, there were some German markings on this, so I'm assuming uh, unless it was this piece parted together with different components that is probably all original uh, German bolts. Just going around the rifle again, like I said, uh, cleaned up pretty well. Uh, I didn't bother repairing that. If somebody does buy this, um, obviously you can repair this area yourself. And um, it's not too bad of a repair. You get some ac acro glass and some wood and you can get that taken care of. Go ahead and flip it over. Here's the other side. Again, the wood, look, wood looks pretty decent on this side, actually. Again, this front barrel band is pretty loose. And as uh, all of these are, you know, they're shot out bores. So it's not something that you're going to be shooting necessarily, uh, unless you wanted to try it at your own risk, but um, not a shooter, just a, a nice historical piece to have as part of your collection. All right, so I'll throw up a graphic here with the markings that I found on this rifle, just like I've done for the other ones. Uh, so we've got a matching serial number uh, present on the barrel, the barrel channel, the top hand guard, the trigger guard assembly, the trigger, the nose cap, and the rear sling swivel. And then we had a serial number of 9078 on the receiver, which dates this to a very early 1900s Han Yang. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, um, it has all the indications that this is an original German uh, bolt assembly, just based on the markings that I found on it. Um, like all of these, it was missing the cleaning rod and nose cap. Uh, and like I said, there weren't many marking, distinguishing markings here on the uh, buttstock. 
So there you go. Uh, these were fun projects. Again, uh, very inexpensive purchases from Century a few years back when they were selling these. Um, for those of you that got them, uh, it's kind of a gold mine because the um, the bolt head on these bolts, as I mentioned before, uh, is bringing like two hundred fifty dollars plus. It's just for the bolt head uh, on eBay. Um, but I do like them for the collectability. Got four of them. Said I'm probably going to get rid of uh, at least two of these. So keep an eye out for that video where I can give you some details on how you can contact me about purchasing one of these uh, if you so desire. Until next time, this is Navy98 saying go Navy.